All right, books, check. Tea, check. Ice, melted in my phone. <sighs> Did I leave it in the bathroom again? <laughs> it was right beside me the whole time. Hi everyone, my name is Holly, and in today's video, I am going to be doing my August book haul. So it is time for me to bless and ruin your TBR piles. You're welcome, and I know you like it. But before we get to the books, I do have an unboxing for you. <laughs> The Beacon Book Box. This is a newer book subscription box and they contacted me to unbox a couple for you guys. So uh, let's get into it. It will only hurt for a second box. It is only but a flesh wound. Let there be light. So the theme for August is Buccaneers and what was it? Bandits. I almost said pirates. It kind of smells like my grandma's house. <laughs> candle from Novel Yours and it's gonna smell like ocean, sea mist, cedar, and what in the world is that? I actually can't read that fourth word, but it actually smells really good. I really like that. Next! Ooh, okay, so we have Captain Elosa Bath Fairy Dust. So it's kind of like bath salts or something similar like that. It kind of smells like candy. I'm just kidding. Don't do that, kids. What is this? We have a necklace, and it says, Dead Men Tell No Tales. <sighs> Look at it. We got a bookmark that says, I Won't Let Your Ignorance Silence My Pain by Children of Blood and Bone. And the other side says, We Find the Things Just As We Lose Things. If, you, if you've lost your honor, you'll find it again. Struggle. It's really cool. It has like a little tassel thing. Next, we have a book sleeve with freaking pirate skulls on it. I'm sold now. You got my love forever, Beacon Book Box. This is by Book Gizmo, and let's put a book inside. Let's experience this together. Hi. The book is nice and safe and will never get stains or scratches on it ever again. This is actually a really nice book sleeve, and I have news for you that every single beacon book box in the future will have a book sleeve in it which is insane okay so i believe the book is next and look at this this is, kind of reminds me of unicorn crate they put their books in tote bags but this one is huge i could fit in this and you know i'm gonna try okay i was totally off camera but i fit in this bag no doubt so the book of the month is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Roche. And you guys, it's physically signed. Even with a little cool message on top that says, Make Waves. So it looks like this is the very first book that I'm hauling. So this is the first book in a new duology by Sarah Roche. And she's the same author who wrote the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, which I haven't read yet, but I own all three of them. And I keep telling myself to pick them up, but you know how a reader is. You just don't. And yeah, I really want to get to that series first before jumping into this one, but it'll happen. So this book is set in a harsh world full of conflict and a political intrigue and Sarah Roche is actually writing from the perspectives of three characters we have a prince we have a spy and we have an outlaw and we follow them as they have to choose which side that they are on within the war that is going on in this novel also I'm seeing the words gay romance circulating around this book which has me really excited I'm all into that so I'm really excited to read this. I hope it lives up to the hype. And the last thing in this box is actually a promotion for the Shadow Minds Journal by Kia Carrington Russell. So that's cool. It actually has like a synopsis on the back interesting so that is it for this box i really hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing if you want to get your own subscription you can actually use my code holly10 on your very first subscription i highly recommend you doing that and trying out at least once the september box is united rivals and it's gonna have a book sleeve in it and it's going to be awesome all right so let's go ahead and move right on to my book haul and the very first book that i have to show you that i bought this month is never night by jay kristoff did you squeal I bet you squealed. I have yet to read a book by Mr. Kristoff and I feel a little ashamed. I really want Nevernight to be my first introduction to his work, which is the reason why I bought it. By the way, I bought this used on Amazon 
and it came signed right there people and this was not mentioned in the description of that sale so I feel like I hit the jackpot so this is kind of an ancient Rome inspired fantasy it's not YA it is adult J. Kristoff will literally attack you if you label it as YA so don't do it and it's about a young girl named Mia whose family unfortunately died during an unsuccessful revolution against the Senate. And to exact her revenge, Mia becomes an apprentice to be trained as a master assassin. This is a very dark book with a lot of violence and adult situations, and I really need to fix my problem of not having read a book by Jay Kristoff. The next book I have here is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. So I've already read this. I actually have a spoiler-free review for it on my channel. I will link that down below for you so that you can can check it out if you're interested but yeah Mary E. Pearson the queen my queen anyways I know most of your queens are Sarah J Mass, Marissa Meyer Mary E. Pearson is my queen so I'm not gonna talk too much about this book because I will be talking about it again in my wrap-up but this is set in the same world as the Revenant Chronicles it is so so good and I highly recommend picking it up because I know a lot of you actually told me that you went into this first before having read The Remnant Chronicles and you loved it. So now I just want to promote it like crazy and shove it in everyone's face. The next book I have here is Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer. And this was sent to me by HMH, so thank you so much. And this one releases on September 4th. I am so incredibly happy to have an arc of this. I actually haven't seen too many people talk about it at all. But when I read the synopsis, I was immediately hooked. So this is the first book in a new gritty blood drenched fantasy series and it follows a 17 year old girl named Nita who is an unnatural which means that she can manipulate her body to do extraordinary things for example if she's hurt she can actually fast forward the healing process her parents run a black market business selling unnatural body parts and Nita's job is actually to dissect and cut up the body parts to get them ready for shipment. I just got demonetized. I think this sounds so so good. The ratings on it are extraordinary and I can't wait to go into it. I hope it's as gruesome as it says it is. The next book I have here is Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker and this was sent to me by Razorbell so thank you so much and this one comes out August 28th. This is also the first book in a new fantasy series that follows Lady Pirates and all female pirate crew add it to your TBR. So I don't know a whole lot about this book but I know it follows Captain Caldonia who takes charge of a pirate ship after losing her family to a very corrupt warlord and she basically vows to avenge her loss and also the loss of her sisters basically her lady crew and then leads them on a mission to do so. This sounds like it's going to be a really exciting sea adventure. It also sounds really empowering to the reader. I expect to have my own courage to go and take on a pirate ship of my own who would like to join me I did upload a pirate ship book tag recently so go watch that. The next book I have here is a graphic novel and that is Rat Queens Volume 5 by Curtis J. Weeb. This is another book that I have also read already so I don't want to go into it too much since I'll be talking about it in literally my next video. But it's the fifth installment in the Rat Queens series and it's basically like a Dungeons and Dragons vibe kind of fantasy. The series as a whole is really good and I enjoy reading about these characters so so much. So yeah, just wait to hear my thoughts in my next video. And the final book I have here is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart and this was in the August Owl Crate and this is the exclusive cover as well. Which by the way I do think I like the original cover better. That always tends to be my thoughts when it comes to the Owl Crate exclusive covers. It's so cool that they do that but I, I tend to always go toward the original cover. So in this world there is a society where women have very few rights and that plot alone kind of reminds me of uh, what's it called Glass Sword by Kristen Simmons. Kind of the whole women have absolutely no rights and they can't get married and they're kind of forced into certain jobs. But it basically follows two characters, one of them being Serena who is a very beautiful woman and she is destined to become a grace which has something to do with being like the perfect woman 
for the prince or something like that or like some type of male heir I'm not too sure and it also follows the other sister Nomi who is very rebellious and her illegal book is actually found in Serena's possession and then Serena gets sent to like a prison camp or something. It sounds really good though even though I kind of struggle with trying to figure out what it's about but I am excited to go into it but I do tend to not really like these kinds of stories where women don't have like any rights but I guess we'll see. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you would like to get your very own subscription of Beacon Book Box, use my code HOLLY10. That will get you 10% off of your purchase. Give this video a big thumbs up for me and also don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos every single week and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And until we meet again, happy reading.